so we're home from the vet. And we have three medications to give. We have Batril, which is the big gun antibiotic. And we have Cisapride for motility because she's not really pooping. And then we have Meloxicam. So perhaps we'll give you the Meloxicam first, which I've already dosed up. There you go. Mm, yum. That tastes pretty good. So Meloxicam is for pain. Now she's going to get critical care mixed with banana baby food and, whoops, come on, ah, 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 ah. no, don't be like that. There, see, that's good. That's good. Nom, 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 come on. Nope. Now, usually my pigs are not like this. They usually take it pretty willingly. If she keeps this up, I have this towel here that I can wrap her in. Doctor says she has pneumonia, which is very bad. She came to me with pneumonia four years ago. Yeah, I know. It's really good, though. It's nummy. It's really nummy. Yeah. I'll just draw up the Batril. Um, 0 0.7. That's not quite a milliliter, so okay. We'll just do that. There we go. Nom, 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 nom. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Nom, nom, nom. And the Cisapride is 0 0.1. Okay. That's a pretty small dose. Yeah, that is a pretty small dose. Okay, whoa. We got, we got bubbles. Yeah, we do. We got bubbles, how about you? Okay, here's your Cisapride. Whoa, did I draw that up yet? 0 0.7, that's, mm, okay, okay, yeah, it's still there. Yeah, not quite enough, okay. Here, honey. Here's your Batril. It's horrible. There you go. Blech. Okay. Now you get your nummy stuff. Here we go. Nummy stuff. The girl. Mmm. <sighs> you like that, don't ya? Well, you can have all that you want. Mommy will just have to get some more banana baby food because that was the last one, huh? There. Ooh, good stuff, huh? You want some more? You can have some more. Okay. Want some more? Peter Rabbit mug. Isn't it cute? I got it at Goodwill. That's good stuff right there, huh? Is that good stuff right there? Okay. Hey, is that good stuff? You want some more? You can have a little more. Um, I usually do 10 milliliters at a time. But I think she's dehydrated, so I'm giving her extra. Seems to want it. Okay. You decided you liked it, huh? Did you? You decided you liked it? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you? Okay. Whoopsie. Got on your nose. How's that? Is that pretty good? Coco is definitely a senior piggy. She's probably close to five. <sighs> but we're doing all we can. And But the vet knows that I'm realistic. And his comment to me was, well, she's either going to get better or... And I said, yes, I know she's going to die. But 
we're doing this this is literally all you can do i hate to use that word because my husband overuses that word literally he does but the things that they give for for pneumonia are batrol and if they're not pooping well then cisapride for motility which is spelled with a c c i and then for pain of course you want meloxicam which is now goes under the brand name loxicam so and of course they're all in oral suspension so you give them by mouth and then you of course should be giving critical care with benebeck I know she seems alert. I'm, I'm amazed that she seems alert as sick as she is. So hopefully that's a good sign. I gave her CBD before we went. So The Coke was one of my favorites. So I, I wanted to, you know, I said, don't have the money right now for x-rays or blood tests because of me with all my medical bills. But so he said, well, this is absolutely everything we can do that you can afford. If you want to know how much the vet bill was, he went easy on me. It was 63 for the exam, and then another, oh, uh, I don't know. Anyway, the whole bill was like 150 with the exam and the, and the medicine, which I know isn't bad. It isn't bad at all. Okay, I'm going to write down exactly what I gave her and what time, so I know when to give her the next. Um, how often should you feed critical care? I would say every three or four hours. Some of you can't do that because you work, you know, eight hours at a stretch. Fortunately, I don't. Um, right now, I am not teaching piano, but when I am, I'll only be gone for like three, four hours at a time. Same with church. I'm gone three, four hours at a time. So, yeah, we love you, Coco. Okay, paw prayers.